Welcome to episode 180 of the Pharmacist Voice podcast. I'm the host, Kim Newlove. This is one of my drug name pronunciation episodes. Today, we are talking about Apertude, also known as Cabotegravir. It's an injectable form of PrEP. PrEP is pre-exposure prophylaxis. If you are unfamiliar with PrEP, this is a drug that's used to reduce the risk of sexually acquired HIV-1 infection. To learn more about Apertude, visit apertude.com. If you're new to this podcast, welcome! In my pronunciation episodes, I say a brand name drug and its generic, break both drug names down into syllables, explain which syllable or syllables have the emphasis, reveal the sources of my information, and put the written pronunciations of both in the show notes so that you can see them and use them right away. As always, I try to make these pronunciation episodes brief. Let's see if we can get her done in 10 minutes or less. Let's go. I'll start with the brand name, Apertude. Apertude has three syllables. Apertude. Apertude. The first syllable, ap, gets the emphasis. Let's see if you can hear it. Apertude. Apertude. How did I know where to divide the syllables and which syllable gets the emphasis? Good question. First, I listened to the verbal pronunciation of Apertude in a video on Apertude.com. Then I read the written pronunciation in the prescribing information, also known as the package insert. That was also on Apertude.com. Great website, easy to find things. A link to that video and the package insert are in the show notes, which you can find on thepharmacistvoice.com. Next, let's talk about the non-proprietary or generic name for Apertude, which is Cabotegravir. Cabotegravir has five syllables. Ca, like cat. Bo, like a hunting bow. Teg, which rhymes with keg. Like a keg of beer. That's right, I said it. Ra, like rat and vir, like virulence, which means the state of being pathogenic, which I find very fitting. Cabotegravir. Cabotegravir. Real quick, since the second A is a short A sound in the middle of a word, when you say cabotegravir, that second A will sound like a schwa A or an uh sound. Can you hear it? Cabotegravir. Cabotegravir. Here's a quick story for you. Uh, When I first saw cabotegravir, I thought it would be pronounced cabotegravir. I am biased because I have heard the term Cabo San Lucas, well, it's the name of a city, not a term. I have heard Cabo San Lucas before. Alas, I've never been to Cabo, but this drug name is not pronounced Cabo like Cabo San Lucas. It's Cabo, like ca, like cat. So I've never been to Cabo. You don't pronounce it Cabo. So double no on the Cabo. Let's move on. It is Cabotegravir. The primary emphasis is on the syllable teg. The secondary emphasis is on the syllable ca. Cabotegravir. Cabotegravir. Can you hear it? Real quick for anyone who doesn't know about primary and secondary emphasis, what do primary and secondary emphasis mean? Primary emphasis indicates where the syllable with the most emphasis is located in the word cabotegravir. Secondary emphasis, on the other hand, indicates where the syllable with the second most emphasis is located in cabotegravir. It's a very slight difference. Teg gets the most emphasis. Ca gets the second most emphasis. Cabotegravir. Can you hear it? Cabotegravir. How did I know that there are five syllables in cabotegravir? And how did I know which syllables are emphasized? Great questions. To find the answers, I consulted my favorite reference for generic or non proprietary drug name pronunciations, and that would be the USP Dictionary Online. I do not get any compensation from the folks at USP for mentioning their dictionary, by the way. I am simply a happy customer. 
The USP Dictionary Online is a subscription-based resource, by the way. If you try to access it without having paid the money and have an online username and password, you will not be able to access it. But you can find a link to it in the show notes if you are interested in subscribing. Again, our drug names for today are Apritude and Cabotegravir. Apritude and Cabotegravir. That's all I've got for you this week. Thank you for listening to episode 180 of the Pharmacist Voice podcast. Please visit thepharmacistvoice.com to read the show notes. You can find the written pronunciations of Apritude and Cabotegravir in the show notes along with the apritude.com links that I mentioned earlier. Plus, there's, a, of course, a link to the USP Dictionary online. And as always, my social media links are in the show notes too. Please reach out and connect. Join me next week for my interview with fellow Ohio pharmacist, Dr. Melody Hartzler. She is a functional medicine pharmacist, a podcaster, an adjunct professor of pharmacy practice, and more. I'm looking forward to sharing our conversation with you. Thanks again for listening today. I'll talk to you next week. Woohoo! It was less than 10 minutes. Woo woo! <laughs> I just had to celebrate at the end. All right, talk to you next week.